Welcome, ladies and gents, to Football Fancast. Five things we learned from the weekend, starting in a traditional manner with the first thing. The Premier League title is truly anyone's, even these guys. Arsenal's loss to lowly strugglers Chelsea means Leicester are top of the pile going into February and there's only five points separating the top four. If the Foxes keep yielding the same average points per game, they'll finish the season on 77, which was only good enough for third place last year and fifth the season before. The conclusion? Everyone is equally as bad as each other up there and the league title is there for the taking. And speaking of teams being bad, thing number two, Liverpool and Norwich played out yet another high-scoring, thrilling encounter, which some have called the best crap game ever. I'm labelling it the game that defending forgot. Yes, it was very entertaining and dramatic, but defending on both sides left a lot to be desired. Mamadou Sako and Alberto Moreno need to take a long, hard look at themselves. And poor old Norwich were great going forward. The only way they score four goals against Liverpool without winning is sloppiness at the back. Thing number three, we probably saw the goal of the season this weekend. Take a bow, Delhi Ali, for the outrageous strike during Tottenham's 3-1 win at Crystal Palace. That was his sixth league goal this season. He's clearly going places. And by the way, Spurs are very sexy right now, like Olivier Giroud levels of sexy. Hmm, sexy striker strangely subbed off. Anyway, thing number four, I say this every week but it bears repeating, Manchester United still very dull. They offered nothing once again in the home loss to Southampton, which meant successive away wins for Ronald Koeman against his arch enemy Louis van Gaal. Seriously, how much longer are they going to put up with LVG? This can't last all season, can it? And finally, thing number five, we go away from the Premier League to South America, where things got a little picante in Saturday's River Plate Boca Juniors clash. It ended 1 0 to River Plate when Carlos Tevez gave away a penalty, but that's not the headline here. There were five red cards, nine bookings, and 40 fouls in this one. Best of all, it was a friendly. Doesn't sound too friendly to me, though. All right, that's it for now. Come chat with us at Football Fancast on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Love to your mothers. I'll see you next time.